Hello, Dewar students. John Abdo here with a staggering thought that I wanted to share with you. This one here pertains to the consumption of carbohydrates. As you know, and you've seen and heard me demonstrate and explain this before, there are three basic forms of carbohydrates, simple, starchy, and fibrous. Let's talk about starchy carbohydrates because the simple carbohydrates are your fruits if you're eating naturally and your candies if you're eating unnaturally. And your fibrous carbohydrates are your vegetables, which uh, could be broccoli or cauliflower or Brussels sprouts or a salad. But when it comes to starchy carbohydrates, I believe that those can be very fattening if we overconsume them, especially the processed starchy carbohydrates. But what's so interesting is that we need carbohydrates. Carbohydrate foods supply us with vitamins, minerals, enzymes, antioxidants, small but sometimes significant forms of protein. And if you eat one carbohydrate source, you're going to get one source of protein. But as vegetarians will tell you, if you combine different types of carbohydrate sources, you'll be able to sometimes make up complete proteins inside the body. But the staggering thought is this, is that in order to lose body fat, I believe, and it's been common for years and years now among the bodybuilding industry, the fitness industry, the modeling industry, is to lower your consumption of starchy carbohydrates. Now, starchy carbohydrates naturally are yams, potatoes, rice, not the white rice. That, that, that to me is not a natural carbohydrate. It's the brown rice or the wild grain rices, oatmeals very natural. The processed carbohydrates are the white rice, the rice cakes, the, the other types of cereals that man does something to, etc., etc. So you want to distinguish what is natural and what is processed carbohydrates. The processed carbohydrates, if you're really trying to lose body fat and really try to get lean, you got to kick those out. All right, so the carbohydrates need to be eaten because we need the, not only the, the nutrition in our body, but we need the energy inside our body, especially if you're doing some type of resistance training. But here's the trick. Listen to this. Take note of this. The trick is not to always eat your starchy or complex carbohydrate at the same amount every day. What I do, I usually pick like a Wednesday and maybe a Saturday or a Sunday. So I pick two days a week where I can eat as many starchy carbohydrates, provided they're natural, as much as I can. So if you go throughout the course of the week where you eat your carbohydrates, but you control the portions of your eating, you're going to have a lower caloric content. You're still going to be providing your body with the nutrition and the energy that, that the carbohydrates, hence starchy or car complex, provide to your body. But you're not eating them on a high all the time or a high caloric amount. And if you eat them on a high caloric amount, you're just putting too much demand on yourself to have to exercise to burn that off. So if you have body fat to lose, take the demand off your body's caloric and or energy releasing or burning or fat burning effect by doing the same amount of exercise, but lowering the amount of fuel, hence the carbohydrates, starchy, that you're putting into your body. So now you're becoming more fuel efficient. Now when you spike it, like if, uh, on my Wednesday and Saturday spikes, or as I call it, stagger, you know, so it's like a stagger line where you see like the heartbeat on, on a monitor. What I'm doing here, I'm eating low carbohydrates on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, boom. And it's only for one meal. It's not like all day long. And then Thursday, Thursday and Friday and maybe Saturday or Sunday, depending, I, I, it's whatever mood I'm in. And it, and it also revolves around my training. But then Saturday I'll have another spike meal. Now what that allows your body to do, that your metabolism speeds up because now all of a sudden it got this insurge of extra energy and your body holds it in. And a lot of times when you deprive your body of something, and many of you already know this, when you deprive your body of something, what's so miraculous about the body? It's like if you deprive a sponge of water, it becomes dry, right? But if you take that sponge and throw it into a bucket, 
it absorbs as much water as that sponge can absorb. Well, it's the same thing with the human body. If you deprive yourself of protein for a while, your body becomes protein deficient. You eat protein, it supercompensates. Same thing with fat, same thing with carbohydrates. Your body will supercompensate. So what a lot of athletes, coaches, and trainers have known for years, but it, it doesn't get out into the public mind because this is very sophisticated science and it's very difficult to write about. But if you understand that when you deprive your body of something, just like all diets, people diet for six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, twelve weeks, they're deprived, and all of a sudden they see food and they eat and their body supercompensates. That's the wrong way to do it. Allow your body to supercompensate on a bi weekly basis, which means twice a week for me, okay? Twice a week for you. Now, by doing that, your body will be deprived of energy as it's burning the energy that you haven't deprived yourself in the past because you got that stored energy. So don't think that you're depriving yourself. Cut a little bit back on the starchy carbohydrates, but on Wednesdays and Saturdays, let's have a spike. Your body will supercompensate. It'll get leaner, harder, higher metabolic metabolism. You will start to see great results by the staggering thought of staggering carbohydrates. I guarantee it. Write me your success. I'll see you next time.